about matter and as you know um, matter is anything that has mass and takes up space and today we want to examine some of the properties of matter and try to determine what, how matter behaves under certain conditions. Okay so our first experiment is going to be taking a piece of matter, which in this case is steel wool, as you can see, it does take up space. Okay, and then we're going to mass it and use this balance. The balance then shows us that we have 36.63 grams of steel wool. plus the watch glass, but that's okay. We want to keep the watch glass, the weight of the watch glass, because we'll need to use that to weigh it again. Now the second part of this experiment is we've got this steel wool. We want to stretch it, okay? We want it to stretch, stretch the particles out, and we want it to be bigger and take up more space or, as the technical term is, have a greater volume, okay? And if you notice, I'm holding this over the watch plate so that I don't lose any of the particles. And now, it is almost double in volume. Now the question is, do we lose any of the matter by making it bigger? And yes, maybe a little bit. Our particles now are 36.615 grams in mass. Ah, but look here on the bench, what has happened? Can you come in closer? Or is it close enough? If you notice here on the bench, there are some particles that have escaped from me stretching it and not having it on the watch glass. So if I collect those particles, then in fact, our mass is now 36.623, which there are probably some more particles that I can't see because we're talking about uh, less than a tenth of a gram or a hundredth of a gram. So I'm going to have lost just a little bit somewhere out here that I haven't been able to collect. But all in all, we started out with 36.6 grams of um, steel wool and we ended up with 36.6 grams of steel wool. had steel wool and we started with it kind of uh, scrunched up in a ball and then we uh, pulled it apart and so what we were doing is changing the volume of the steel wool. So we started with a small piece of steel wool and then we had a piece that took up more volume and so on the left here we're going to represent what was happening inside of the steel wool on the particle level beforehand and then we're going to represent what happened on the particle level afterwards. Okay so let's start with a small volume of steel wool here. We'll draw a small volume of steel wool because we had the steel wool kind of scrunched up into a ball. And then over here, we're going to draw a big thing of steel wool because the steel wool took up a larger volume afterwards. So we'll draw a larger volume here. Okay, now, what was happening inside of the, the steel wool on the particle level? Well, beforehand, we had uh, a certain number of particles. We'll call it uh, five or six here, four or five, six particles. And then uh, afterwards, so we, we took the mass beforehand. It had a certain mass. Afterwards, we took the mass again, and we found that essentially the mass remained unchanged. We didn't have a, a real change in mass at all. So we still are going to have the same six dots, but what you're going to see is that those six dots are going to be spread out over a larger volume. So something changed, but the mass did not change. And so the mass beforehand, we had six particles, and the mass afterwards is six particles, but the volume did get a little bit bigger.